guys thanks so much for tuning in to skin time with Ashley I'm so excited to show you all my flawless weekly skincare routine before I begin I'm just going to tie my hair back with a hair tie and a headband just so that there's no hair that gets in my face a little slow motion ponytail action for you here and I am ready to go <laughs> so of course before we jump into it I have to have to have to beg you to subscribe make sure you like comment ask questions let's just keep conversations going so that I know exactly what type of content you all are looking for all right so let's jump right into it I'm gonna remove my glasses um, if you choose to remove earrings you can do so at this time but just anything from my face and first I will remove the first layer of dirt and makeup with my cloth so you'll see me rinse off a rag with warm water and I'm just going to simply use it to wipe my entire face from um, any visible makeup you know no extra logic put into this and then I'll just lay my rag to the side because I'll be using it throughout this um, process after that I'll remove any remaining dirt or makeup with my micellar water. So I absolutely love the Garnier Waterproof Micellar Cleansing Water, but of course you can choose to use any sort of micellar water that you prefer. I'll use this with as many cotton balls as I need. Um, for the sake of this video, you'll just see me use one, but I'm gonna shake up my micellar water and apply it to the cotton ball and wipe my face until there's absolutely no trace or very minimal trace of dirt or makeup so in a second you'll see me show you the cotton ball I used about two more after this until the cotton ball was almost completely clean it just makes it easier when you actually get into the real cleansing portion which is next all right here we go let's actually cleanse so get your favorite deep cleanser and your favorite facial brush I love the towel clean orbital facial brush um, it's just awesome and it's super cute I'm pointing at this light right here because I want you to notice that it's white right now I'm gonna show you a pretty cool product feature in just a moment here but you'll use this with your favorite deep cleanser I'm using Neutrogena but I also use clean and clears and I'm gonna put a drop of the cleanser onto my brush. I'm noticing here that I actually put way too much. That was about two drops. So I'm gonna rinse a little bit off. That's the great thing about using a facial brush. You need only a tiny bit of product. It goes a long way. So you'll see me go from one cheek and then move to the next cheek and then move to my forehead. That's because this brush has three cycles within one rotation, if that makes sense. So it pauses in between to let me know when to switch zones and then it'll shut off. So here's where it shut off and you see a little bit of um, dirt coming off. After it cuts off, I cut it back on. I'll go down my T-zone, I'll go to my neck and chin and then it'll pause again and I'll go all the way up from my neck to the top of my forehead and then it'll cut off again. So as you can see, all of the rest of the dirt is gone. There's not a lot on there, but it definitely knocks off every single thing that was left. I pop the head off and I can just run it under water. So it's a super easy clean and you'll see how absolutely perfect it looks when I hold it up. It cleans so well. I'll put the head back onto the brush. Um, after I wipe it, you'll see me I'm wiping off the soap suds that have dried up. I'm just anal like that. I like to keep my products and tools nice and clean. Popping it back on to the brush and then I'll put it into the base. Now remember that cool product feature I want to tell you about? You'll see that it's blue now. So there's an ultraviolet radiation that's used to kill germs and it'll go on and blink between blue and white for about two minutes um, until it is super super clean so I really love that because um, it, cleanses it cleanses it very well so that you can use it for your next um, go round all right so after that I'm just grabbing my cloth and I'm gonna use it to wipe my face as you can see it's really shiny but I'm happy because it looks so clean and it feels so clean 
and I'm just wiping off all of the soap from my neck and chin. Again, no extra science, just wipe it clean. And my favorite part, steaming. All right, so if you don't wanna steam, don't worry, skip ahead to eight minutes and 22 seconds. I apologize in advance, this video does look a little different, I had to film separately. But this is my VKK Nano Ionic Facial Steamer. Um, I absolutely love it. It has this compartment in the back and that's where I'll put the water and a little power button so it's super simple. I'll use distilled water. Why? Because the instructions for most steamers tell you to use distilled water um, because it allows the product to last longer and residue buildup, blah blah blah. I don't know. I follow the rules. I don't ask questions. <laughs> so you can get um, distilled water from anywhere, gas station, grocery store, farmer's market. Um, but what I'll do is I'll pour that into the chamber, screw the lid back on, and pop it back into my steamer. Now some of you all may be interested in steaming, but you don't want to buy a steamer. I'm not going to lie, they're not super cheap, um, but no worries, you can make one. And what you'll do is you'll just bo boil hot water, or boil water, um, and then you'll pour it into a bowl. You'll grab a towel and just lean over that bowl, put the towel over the back of your head and steam that way. Um, it's just a little bit more of a tedious process, but hey, you don't have to pay for a steamer. So I'll just cut it on. You'll see me have a moment of relief <laughs> in just a moment because I actually thought it wasn't working. But you just gotta be patient. It takes a while for the steamer to heat up, a couple seconds um, for it to heat up and steam to actually come out. So just be patient. You'll want to put your face about six inch inches back, I believe is what most recommend, but just hold it back far enough to where it's not burning your face or close enough. I don't think that there's too much of a science to this either. And it's just amazing, it's relaxing, and you'll just kind of enjoy it for the next 15 to 20 minutes. You can see I'm on the phone, just kind of chilling. But what this does is it opens the pores and just allows for your skin to be prepared to accept and to just take in all of what you're going to do next because we'll go into our mask um, next. So we just want to open the pores and just make the skin as vulnerable as possible. Alright, so once that's all done, you'll see that my chamber is nice and empty. Nothing much to do here except for maybe pour out any extra water. I'll unplug my steamer and just lay it to the side. You can see my eyes are like super low after this, which is actually kind of embarrassing, but it's just really that relaxing. Alright, so without the steamer, super easy, this is super quick, just use the hottest amount of water your sink can provide. You'll want to use a drenched cloth and you'll just want to get that water right onto the face. So boom, just like that. Without a steamer, that's it. All right, next step, we're gonna apply our exfoliating mask. So after you steam or after you have doused your face, you'll want to use your favorite exfoliant. I absolutely love Cup of Coffee Mask by Lush. As you can see, I'm at the very, very bottom, but I'll use an ample amount of this guy and we'll apply it onto my face and my neck or excuse me my chin um, I don't apply it onto my neck but if I did have a breakout on my neck I would so you know case by case do whatever you prefer but you'll just want to make sure that you have a nice even application and that it's everywhere Now on Wednesdays, I'll use an exfoliant like this, but on a Sunday, I'll use something a little bit more relaxing, maybe an anti-stress mask or something like that, but on Wednesdays, I exfoliate. And this is a Wednesday, so I'm exfoliating. As you can see, my fingers get a little dirty, so I'll rinse those off. And at the same time, I am going to rinse off my washcloth 
and I'll use that to wipe the mask that's on my face, or excuse me, that's on my lips. And you'll see why in just a moment here. So once I've gotten the mask off of my lip area, I will put an exfoliant for my lips. So I'll use a lip scrub. Boom. <laughs> and I'll apply it to my top and bottom lip. And just rub that in. And what's great is it tastes so delicious, although it's not necessarily edible, kind of like toothpaste. <laughs> So just rub that in and I'll just wait. So it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for this particular mask to dry, but of course use your favorite exfoliant and follow the instructions. If it takes 30 minutes, wait 30 minutes, but just hang out. I'll spend time with my dog, read a book, I don't know, whatever, but just something to kill the time. So I'm grabbing my charger because <laughs> my laptop almost died, but now we're ready for the next step. We're going to remove the exfoliant with the cloth. So I'll just dampen my cloth that I'm using to wash my face and we'll just take my time to remove all of the product from my skin. Now this process takes a minute, especially with um, this particular mask because it uses real coffee grinds. So there's just a lot of chunks, um, but you do want to make sure that you get it all off because there's nothing worse than putting on your creams and finishing your facial routine and you still have little exfoliating beads all over. So take your time. As with any facial cleansing routine, take your time with every single step. nice and clean we're ready for the next step so now you want to apply your favorite toners and serums I'm showing you this I love the bottle but not necessarily the product I will explain and I will use my vitamin C serum and my jade roller so about this this is the Soafe revitalizing mist I like the mist just for a nice everyday spray, but I love the bottle because of just the way it applies the toner. And once I ran out of this product, I actually just put pure rose water in it. So that's what I'm spraying on my face. Pure red rose water to be specific because red is better than white. And you will just kind of fan the face. Well, I fan my face and then I pat dry um, just to get it in to the skin a little bit better. You can choose to use any sort of toner. Um, my skin loves rose water and reacts to it well, so that's why I use it, but of course there's witch hazel and all types of toners. So again, listen to your skin and do what's best for it. Once that's all patted in, I will use my serum. Just like the toner, um, use a serum that your skin reacts to best. My skin loves vitamin C serum. So right now I'm using the one by Insta Naturals. It's my second favorite one. My very first favorite one is the Vitamin C Serum by True Skin. Again, I have um, the links to most of these items down below. So I will list both 
um, serums for you just so you have some flexibility and you'll just see me put drops of it onto my skin now the difference between insta naturals serum and true skins is the color so just aesthetically different um, but both really really great products and you'll see me rub this in and what's crazy about it is that I'm gonna start glowing as soon as it rubs in like just watch it's it's like magic it's like it's it's uh, I'm speechless I love it okay all right so now my jade roller I get so many questions on this so while we're going through this process that takes about 15 minutes um, well speeding through it um, I will explain um, the jade roller has so many benefits um, it increases circulation, it reduces inflammation, improves elasticity in your skin. If you're somebody like, like me who has a lot of um, sinus drainage, this is awesome because it stimulates that lymphatic drainage and it relieves all sorts of tension, it leaves your skin glowing, it just, it has so many benefits. And then the next thing I'm going to get, I'm running to my freezer to grab, um, I might be butchering the name, but I'll spell it below. Um, this is my Gua Sha. This is a frozen um, piece of jade. It's the same material as my jade roller, but it's just a little bit different. Now it has some similar benefits, but some differences are that it just helps to lift and tighten your skin. It reduces any sort of frown lines and wrinkles. It softens your smile lines and improves the appearance of the neck. So again, a long-term benefit for this tool um, so when I get old and my skin looks great, <laughs> then, you know, maybe the skeptics will try it or you can just trust me. Um, nonetheless, it feels really, 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 really great. And I'm so relaxed after I use my jade roller and gua sha. So if nothing else, it's relaxing. Next, I'll apply my night cream. So this is optional, but I use an ambi fade cream because I have a lot of dark spots. Um, the thing about chocolate skin is that we get dark spots pretty easily, so I'll use the fade cream all over my face, um, a very thin layer all over my face just to even out my um, skin overnight. It has only a teeny tiny percent, actually 1% or 2% to be exact, of the bleaching agent, so don't think that if you apply this that you're bleaching your skin, you're not. It literally just has enough to kind of do the job um, of evening the skin tone. So finally, 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 the very last thing I use is my cocoa butter stick. You can choose to use shea butter or any other product, but I love cocoa butter and specifically the brown cocoa butter stick um, by Clean Helen um, versus the yellow one. Just because this one doesn't get hard um, and it just lasts a lot longer, it's much more softer and it's just easier to apply. So I'll put that onto my face. And that is the very last step. Thank you so much again for tuning in to Skin Time with Ashley Sutton. I really, really enjoyed making this video and I hope that you like, comment, subscribe, and just provide any sort of feedback for content that you want to see in the future.